हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मी जसनीत कौर वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक्स ऑफ चैप्टर फिफ्थ व्हिच इज फूड प्रोसेसिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल मेक श्योर यू हिट दी बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट माई नेक्स्ट अपलोड्स so let's begin what we have covered in the part 1 video of this chapter so far we have covered learning objectives introduction of the chapter briefing of vitamins meaning and reasons of food processing examples of processed foods significance of food processing and basic concepts related to the same in today's topic we will be going ahead with our next content that is development of food processing and technology in this video we will talk about when and how this concept of food processing introduced in the market now research in the field of food processing and technology has been conducted for decades but in the year 1810 there was a revolutionary innovation in the food preservation techniques by nicholas apert he introduced the concept of canned foods in 1864 louis pasteur's research on spoilage of wine and ways to avoid spoilage was an early step to put food technology on a scientific basis louis pasteur developed pasteurization it is the process of treating milk to destroy disease producing organisms pasteurization was a significant advancement in ensuring microbiological safety of food the other reasons of these developments in the food processing and technology industry was consumers demand for the similar products as well as change in the preferences and choices of the consumers the other most important challenge during 21st century wars that food technologists were supposed to produce food which were suitable as well as healthy for the overall growth and development of the person the field of food processing includes characteristics and classification of foods principles of food science chemistry food microbiology nutrition sensory analysis and statistics and good manufacturing practices as per regulations therefore it was necessary for professionals to have knowledge about raw food materials principles of food preservation processing factors which influence quality packaging water and waste management good manufacturing processes and sanitation procedures Moving on to our next topic that is importance of food processing and preservation for the key points of the importances you can refer to the image which you can see on your screens talking about the importance of food processing and preservation in general it plays very important role in the food industry as it helps in increasing the shelf life of food making food more digestible as well as increasing the storability portability palatability and convenience in handling apart from these it is also playing its huge role in marketing and distribution of food items increasing food consistency improving the quality of food better food hygiene and minimization of waste and much more while talking about food processing and preservation it is also important to pay light on food spoilage Let's understand this term. Food spoilage is a process in which food items deteriorate to the point in which it is not edible for human beings. You must have seen these conditions where food gets spoiled at your home and it smells very bad and definitely you don't feel like eating it. Think of eating such kind of food. Just imagine what kind of impact it will leave on your health. Let's take a look on this matter as well. The spoiled food will have loss of flavor, discoloration, not at all appealing, deterioration of texture, loss of nutritive value and making food unsafe for consumption. 
Now let's look at this stuff which causes food spoilage, pest infestation by insects, rodents, etc. Inappropriate temperatures used for processing and storage, excessive exposure to light and other radiations, oxygen, moisture, microorganisms like bacteria, fungus and molds, chemicals such as pesticides and many other factors. Now to avoid food from getting spoiled, there are certain methods which are used for food preservation like sun drying, controlled fermentation, salting or pickling, canning, roasting, smoking, baking and using spices as preservatives. Moving on to our next topic, let's discuss now classification of foods based on perishability. Perishable means the shelf life of the food. We generally divide food on the basis of three categories, perishable, semi-perishable and non-perishable. Perishable food items are those food items which get spoiled within one or two days. Example, milk, fish and meat. Semi-perishable are those food items which last for one to two weeks. Example, fruits and vegetables. But in this, the category of onion and potatoes can last for two to four weeks. The last one is non-perishable. These are those foodstuffs which generally last for one year. Example, grains like rice, wheat, pulses and oil seeds. This is it for today students. I hope you have understood everything. If you come across any doubt, you know where you have to reach. In online classes, you can definitely ask as well as you can mention your queries in the comment section below. Till then, don't forget to subscribe and give your feedback in the comment section. I will see you soon with my next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.